Hey, morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. So everything's been chaotic, but I want to assure you guys that I am working on things that matter. And mostly I have been working on the software side of the house for off-grid computing and off-grid ease of use when it comes to a bunch of comms related things. And I'm working on MCOM Tools R5, release five. It's not ready for release yet, but I'm just about to finish one of the first applications that will be included in that release. So I've already shown you guys, I am using the ADBS Exchange SDR, and then I also have now a custom version of my application. And I uh, just wanna show you a few things that are new. So we actually see that we still get all the same aircraft here. Uh, we have my position shown with the little uh, pulsing red uh, bit here, but now we have the ability to click on the aircraft and it'll make it active and then also select it in the table. We'll get the information such as the flight number, the hex code, and now also the offline FAA registration type. This happens to be a corporation. We get speed, we get altitude. We can also click on info. And again, nothing here is going to the internet whatsoever. And then I actually have more data from the offline FAA database that's included beyond just the owner, tail number, year, city, and state. Now I'm also able to recenter my position. So let's say if I was down here by this aircraft right here and lost where I was, we can also go and hit my position and it will recenter us on the map. Now, the reason why I wrote this was not so much to track all of these types of aircraft. I could give a rat's ass about uh, commercial airliners. I really wanted visibility into things like government aircraft. And while I know that government agencies can turn off, there was transponders and probably, and same thing with the military. My goal was to have something uh, rather than nothing at all that's 100% offline. So I can click government here and it'll check that box. And then just so we have another data point, let's go ahead and also do corporation. So I can hit apply. And now we will get a list here of just those aircraft as well as filter it on the map. And uh, yesterday I was doing this and during the day I was actually seeing quite a bit of aircraft that were under government, mostly from Phoenix PD. So a lot of people ask, why am I even doing this? This looks like a waste of time for comms. Well, it's also to not so much have visibility into government aircraft, but more than anything, to give me a test bed to prove that we can do everything offline, have an offline map, offline data, get data from a radio, and have it be modern and touch driven and completely air gapped. So imagine what this will look like when I make the same type of application, but for APRS. Over there, I've got my JSA call station. I'm going to reimagine the front end for JSA call to be a full map. So when you do a signal to noise ratio request or a heartbeat, you will see a map of uh, your area with all of the call signs that come back to you. You can click on them and do a messaging. Uh, I've got HF prediction. So that is why this is not wasted effort. So uh, please, please stop sending me email that I'm wasting my time building stuff like this because I have a very definitive plan. All right, guys. Anyways, uh, I'm the tech prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh, and also thanks to all of the new guys on Buy Me A Coffee. I'm just about to send an update for our member stream on Saturday. I've got some cool giveaways. I'm even gonna give away uh, one of the final prototypes that I had for the TTP land nav kit. All right, guys, cheers.